My parents gave me my first sex talk when I was 26 years old. True story, I was dating this girl uh, for like two years, I would crash at her place sometimes, and then my mom one day just drops this bomb on me. Uh, after a lifetime of giving each other the respect of never acknowledging or talking about sex, she just drops this on me. Woman's needs thai. Amu kumar pachi. Ane e jaruri at e tane na am sanjan na pade. Tu aji nano chut. I'm 26 years old. Did I mention that I'm 26 years old? Pan e sexual need. Ah ah ah! Stop it! Stop it! Why are you doing this? But I remembered that I actually got my first sex talk uh, while I was living in India when I was like 14 years old. I was living in Gujarat for like two years and this old man that lives in my village, he gave me this sage, sage advice. Hey, hey, brother. Hey, best dikra. Hey, that will again take you? 14 years old here. Did I mention that I'm 14 years old? Because I'm 14 years old. Jaldi kar de. Hey, thokwa bukwa chale. At least you'll get to hit that. That was his advice. And then he went on to a cautionary tale. Okay. Say what you want about that man, but you know what? He gave me the sex talk at the appropriate age. An old man in India gave me the sex talk at an appropriate age. Whereas the uh, Gujaratis in Canada are waiting until I'm 26 to even acknowledge. And that's kind of where I want to go in the next episode of this, uh, is basically the difference between brown people who left India 30 years ago and never changed. They're like these fundamentalist Gujaratis walking around. but. The people in India are totally modernized. Like India is like super modern and like they've, they've progressed so far ahead of us. And then the brown people in Canada, they just stayed exactly the same. They're like these fundamentalist uh, gujus. Not dropping bombs literally, but dropping bombs like... <laughs> Anyway, I'll talk all about that uh, in the next video in this series that I'm calling This Gujarati Life. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, do all that stuff, share it. I gotta go, I gotta go right now because I have a huge show coming up. If you're in the neighborhood, come check it out, it's gonna be hilarious. Uh, just like every other show that I've ever put on in my life. Alright, I'll see you at the show, or maybe in a week on YouTube.